Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Opening song is out of the Glory and Praise, which is the larger book. Number 632. 632, the King of Love, my shepherd is. The King of love, my shepherd is, whose goodness fails me never. I nothing lack if I am his, and he is mine forever. Where streams of living water flow, with gentle care he leads me. And where the verdant pastures grow, with heavenly food he feeds me. Perverse and foolish I have strayed, but yet in love he sought me, and on his shoulder gently laid, and home rejoicing brought me. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, my brothers and sisters, the Lord be with you. On this feast of the Passion of St. John the Baptist, we ask his intercession as we pray in a special way for the repose of the souls of Georgina Kubik and Josephine Nella and Paolo Souza. For the times we fail to love God as we should, we bow our heads and ask for his mercy. For God is slow to anger and abounding in steadfast love. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ have, mercy. Christ, have mercy. You plead for us at God's right hand. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sin, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who willed that St. John the Baptist should go ahead of your son, both in his birth and in his death, Grant that, as he died a martyr for truth and justice, we too might fight hard for the confession of what you teach. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. The word of the Lord was addressed to me, saying, Gird up your loins, stand up and tell the people everything that I command you. Do not break down before them, or I will break you before them. For I, for my part, have made you today a fortified city, an iron pillar and a bronze wall against the whole land against the kings of Judah, its princes, its priests, and the people of the land. They will fight against you, but they shall not prevail against you. For I am with you, says the Lord, to deliver you. The word of the Lord. I will sing your salvation. In you, O Lord, I take refuge. Let me never be put to shame. In your righteousness, deliver me and rescue me. Incline your ear to me and save me. I will sing your salvation. Bring to me a rock of refuge, a strong fortress to save me. For you are my rock and my fortress. Rescue me, O oh my God, from the hand of the wicked. I will sing your salvation. 
for you, O Lord, are my hope, my trust, O Lord, from my youth. Upon you I have leaned from my birth. It was you who took me from my mother's womb. I will sing your salvation. My mouth will tell of your righteous acts, of your deeds of salvation all day long. O God, from my youth you have taught me, and I still proclaim your wondrous deeds. I will sing your salvation. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. Blessed are those who suffer persecution for justice' sake. The kingdom of heaven is theirs. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. My brothers and sisters, the Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Herod himself had sent men who arrested John, bound him, and put him in prison on account of Herodias, his brother Philip's wife, because Herod had married her. For John had been telling Herod, it is not lawful for you to have your brother's wife. Herodias had a grudge against John and wanted to kill him, but she could not, for Herod feared John, knowing that John was a righteous and holy man, and he protected him. When Herod heard John, he was greatly perplexed, and yet he liked to listen to him. But an opportunity came when Herod, on his birthday, gave a banquet for his courtiers and officers and for the leaders of Galilee. When the daughter of Herodias came in and danced, she pleased Herod and his guests, and the king said to the girl, Ask me for whatever you wish, and I will give it. And he solemnly swore to her, Whatever you ask me, I will give you even half of my kingdom. She went out and said to her mother, What should I ask for? She replied, The head of John the Baptist. Immediately she rushed back to the king and requested, I want you to give me at once the head of John the Baptist on a platter. The king was deeply grieved, yet out of regard for his oaths and for the guests, he did not want to refuse her. Immediately the king sent a soldier of the guard with orders to bring John's head. The soldier went and beheaded John in the prison, brought his head on a platter, and gave it to the girl. Then the girl gave it to her mother. When his disciples heard about it, they came and took John's body and laid it in a tomb. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. May the words of the Gospel wipe away our sin. Amen. Today's feast day reminds us of the importance of St. John the Baptist. Like we heard in our opening prayer, he goes before Jesus in preaching the truth and giving up his life for truth. John the Baptist is Jesus' precursor. So it's not just because they were cousins that Jesus calls them the mightiest of the prophets. This is not a family bias statement. Rather, it's a statement of truth because of the importance that John the Baptist was, one who was crying out in the wilderness to proclaim that the Lord is coming to prepare his way, make his path straight. Also, this idea of turning our life around, living a life of holiness and conversion. John the Baptist was beheaded for the sake of as we heard in today's gospel, of standing up for what God sees as the sanctity of marriage. And so when we live immorally, that needs to be called out. John was willing to do so. We must do the same. Though when we teach the church's teachings, we are always to proclaim the truth with love. It's the way we say things. You know you're going to hell if you don't go to church. That's true. But if you go around and tell people that, that's not necessarily the way that's going to touch their hearts. Jesus is calling you by name. He wants to feed you with his word and sacrament. It is a commandment, something that we need to follow. 
When we speak to the human heart, that's where hearts are transformed. So we have to make sure that we're careful, yes, to stand up for truth, yes, not to water down our faith, but also to do so with great love. This is how John the Baptist lived. This is how the apostles lived. This is how we are to live, teaching the truth with love. So may the example and the martyrdom of St. John the Baptist inspire us that we too are always to stand up for justice, even when it is frowned upon by society whose social trends continue to lead many people away from God, so that we can always be those people who stand up for truth. Let us offer our prayers to the Father who has bestowed on us every spiritual gift. Our response, Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for the Church. May the Holy Spirit help us to be faithful in the universal call to holiness we received at our baptism. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For all world leaders, may the Lord guide their actions in truth and righteousness. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for all who experience violence in their homes or communities. May the Lord provide them refuge. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for all who stand up for justice and peace, that their messages of hope may be listened by all, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. And for all of us here, may our unity with Christ Jesus bring us closer to one another, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. And for all who have died, we remember especially Georgina, Josephine, and Paolo, the holy souls in purgatory, and all who have died. May they soon experience the new life promised by Jesus, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer, and for all the intentions we bring to God from the silence of our hearts. Ever faithful Father, we ask that you look favorably upon our petitions we have offered you today. Through Christ our Lord, St. John the Baptist, pray for us. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this bread which we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, who will become for us the bread of life. By the mingling of this water and wine, we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this wine which we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, that will become for us our spiritual drink. With humble spirit and contrite heart, may we be accepted by you, O Lord. May our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Wash me, O Lord, of my iniquity. Cleanse me of my many sins. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice in yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Through these offerings which we bring to you, O Lord, grant that we may make straight your paths, as taught by the voice crying out in the desert, St. John the Baptist, who powerfully sealed his teaching by the shedding of his blood, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord, and his precursor, St. John the Baptist, we praise your great glory, for you consecrated him for a singular honor among those born of women. His birth brought great rejoicing. Even in the womb he leapt for joy at the coming of human salvation. He alone of all the prophets pointed out the Lamb of Redemption. 
to make holy the flowing waters, he baptized the very author of baptism and was privileged to bear him supreme witness by the shedding of his blood. And so with the powers of heaven, we worship you constantly here on earth and before your great majesty, without end, we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread in giving you thanks. He broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. My Lord and my God. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in memory of me. My Jesus, mercy. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Ajara, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember your servants, Georgina, Josephine, and Paolo, whom may have called from this world to yourself. Grant that they were united with your son in a death like his, may also be one of the ministers of resurrection. Remember also, brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep, in the hope of the resurrection, and all have died in your mercy. Welcome them in the light of your face. Have mercy on us, all we pray, that the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the Blessed Joseph, our spouse, the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who are pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, our glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sin, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you. With Turn and offer one another a sign of the Lord's peace.
Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, grant us your peace. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, who by the will of the Father and work of the Holy Spirit, through your death gave life to the world, free us by this your most holy body and blood, from all our sins and from all that is evil. Keep us faithful to your commandments, and never let us be parted from you. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body of Christ bring us all to everlasting life. Amen. May the blood of Christ bring us all to everlasting life. Amen. For those at home receiving Jesus in a spiritual communion, I invite you to pray. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, Come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. Grant, O Lord, as we celebrate the heavenly birth of St. John the Baptist, that we may revere for what it signifies the saving sacrament we have received, and even more may rejoice at its clear effects in us. Through Christ our Lord. Let us turn to our Blessed Mother as we pray. We fly to thy protection, O Holy Mother of God. Despise not our petitions and our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin, amen. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in the day of battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the heavenly host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl through the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Good Saint Joseph, ever watchful guardian of the Holy Family, protect the chosen people of Jesus Christ. Keep us free from the blight of error and corruption, and be our ally in the conflict with the powers of darkness. As of old, you rescued the child Jesus from the plots of Herod. So now defend the universal church from all harm. Keep us, one and all, under your continual protection, so that by your help and example, we may lead a holy life, die a happy death, and come to possess eternal life in heaven. Amen. My brothers and sisters, the Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. The Mass is ended. Let us go in the peace of Christ. In death's dark veil, I fear no ill. With you, dear Lord, beside me, your rod and staff, my comfort still, your cross before to guide me. You spread a table in my sight, your saving grace bestowing. And oh, what joy and true delight from your pure chalice flowing. And so through all the length of days, your goodness fails me never. Good shepherd, may I sing your praise within your house forever. God bless you. Have a good day.